Hi everyone, this is Mr. Justin with the Hernando County Public Library. Welcome back to our YouTube channel with our Summer Science Series celebrating Fizz Boom Read at the library. Please visit our website, hernandocountylibrary.us, to find more information about our cool programs going on all summer long. Today, we're going to make a homemade lava lamp. Now, if you've never seen a lava lamp today, ask your parents, maybe your grandparents. I actually am also a little too young for when lava lamps first came out, but they're very cool, and we're going to make a homemade version of it today. Here's what we're going to need. We're going to need a plastic bottle with water. I already filled it uh, about quarter to halfway filled with water already. We need vegetable oil, food coloring, Alka-Seltzer, and a funnel just to make life a little easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the funnel, put it in the water bottle, and we're going to fill the water bottle up with vegetable oil the rest of the way up. And as you can see, which is kind of cool, if you're watching, even though I poured them and they should mix, we can see the vegetable oil is now floating on top of the water, and they're two completely separate layers. And they've got different densities, which is why they're going to sit on top of each other instead of mixing around. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some food coloring. I wonder what color I'm going to add today. Let's add some blue. Just a couple drops. And check that out. What's kind of cool is that when we add the food coloring, they keep their little tiny balls of food coloring, and it floats down through the vegetable oil into, eventually, the water. Well, that's actually just fun to watch. And it hasn't quite mixed up with the water yet, but you can definitely see that the food coloring does not want to mix with the vegetable oil. So it's just hanging out there. So you know what? Just for fun, let's see what happens when I mix this up a little bit so I can get and mix that up. And there we go. We got the blue water. We got still a bunch of little tiny um, food coloring balls into the, into the uh, vegetable oil. But you can see they're still very two distinct Layers. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to see what happens when I add some Alka-Seltzer to this. I'm going to open this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to live on the wild side today and add both tablets to it. Of course, I'm going to have it mixed up a bit, or chomped up, chopped up a bit, so. And as we can see, as I put it in, again, we have the Alka-Seltzer going down to the water, creating the, the air, the fizz, the gas, and it's bringing up the bubbles into the colored bubbles into the vegetable oil. And again, with the color, with the vegetable oil and the water, they've got different densities, so it's not going to stay there for long, and we have little bubbles. And we can just watch that. That's actually pretty cool to watch. And of course, after a while, the effect of the Alka-Seltzer will wear down, so you could just put more Alka-Seltzer in there if you want to watch the effect. Otherwise, it'll just be there with the two layers, which is still kind of cool to watch. But again, and if I tip it over... And you can see again the Vespa oil going to the top, the water going to the bottom, and the bubbles creating in it. And again, it's cool little bubbles. I don't know if anyone around in the 90s, but kind of reminds me of the little orbit strings that they used to have around. And if I mix it, again, nothing you can do is going to hurt it, so I'm just going to mix it around because it's just kind of cool to watch it. work at finally separating itself. And so it might take a minute, but eventually it'll, you can see it starting to separate itself already. But it's a very cool experiment that you can do. And that is our homemade, oh, there we go. You can watch it, definitely. I messed up a little bit, that's all right. You can have fun with it. There's no way to hurt that. And that is our homemade lava lamp. Again, 
If you want to see any of our videos when they get posted, because we are going to be posting summer science videos throughout the whole summer, please click on the subscribe button on our page. You can subscribe and get all of our videos from the Hernando County Public Library. Again, my name is Mr. Justin. Thanks for watching our videos all throughout the summer, and I hope you all have a great summer. Thank you very much.